Community and Conservation. In this module, you will learn about different strategies undertaken by local communities in conservation of forest and wildlife. India is home to a large variety of flora and fauna. However, India's treasure of flora and fauna are fast declining. Some species of both flora and fauna are already on the endangered list and urgent measures need to be taken to conserve the biodiversity. Different conservation strategies need to be adopted to preserve the biodiversity of our land. Community conservation has been one of the methods adopted to conserve the forest and wildlife in India. Community conservation empowers local communities to manage their lands with minimum or sudden interference. India being home to many traditional communities, community conservation plays an important role in conserving the forest and wildlife resources. In India, the Joint Forest Management Program, which started in 1988, provides a good example for community conservation. This program involves local communities in the management and restoration of degraded forests. The local institutions formed under this program undertake protection activities in return for intermediary benefits like non-timber forest producers and share in the timber harvested by successful protection. The Chipko movement in the Himalayas has been successful in resisting deforestation in several areas. It has also shown that community afforestation with certain indigenous species can also prove to be highly successful. Other movements like the Beej Bachao Andolan in Tehri and the Navdanya have also shown that production of adequate levels of crops without the use of synthetic chemicals is possible and economically viable. Different instances can be cited to show some local communities in India that are struggling to conserve their habitats along with government machinery. One such example is the case of Sariska Tiger Reserve. The Sariska Tiger Reserve in Rajasthan is nestled amidst the Aravali and covers almost 800 square kilometers of dry tropical forest. This reserve faces a lot of problems due to mining in these areas. The villagers have fought against these mining activities by citing the Wildlife Protection Act. Villagers in many areas have on their own started some eco-development programs which will initiate protection of forests and wildlife. In certain areas, villagers have initiated action independently and have even gone to the extent of rejecting government participation. 1,200 hectares of forest have been declared as the Bhairdev Dakar Sanctuary by five villages in the Alwar district of Rajasthan. The inhabitants of these villages have declared their own set of rules and regulations. These rules do not allow hunting and protect wildlife against any outside encroachment. In India, nature worship is considered as an age-old tribal belief. The tribal belief that all creations of nature have to be protected and hence such beliefs have helped in preserving certain forests that have been left untouched called the sacred groups. Sacred groups as the name suggests means forests of gods and goddesses. They are patches of forests that are considered to be sacred and are hence left untouched by the local people. Certain rules and customs are followed for each sacred groove which ensures its protection. Hence, these sacred groves are a wealth of diverse and rare species. Certain societies in India revere a particular tree which they preserve from time to time. The people and banyan trees are considered sacred and worshipped throughout India. Similarly, the Mundas and the Santul of Chotanagpur region worship Mahua and Kadamba trees and the tribals of Orissa and Bihar 
worship the tamarind and mango trees during wedding. Apart from the trees, certain animals such as macis and langurs are also treated as a part of temple devotees and left unharmed. In Rajasthan, Nilgar, Sikhos and Chinkara are considered as an important part of the community and hence not harmed by anyone. Conservation of forests and wildlife resources is a global concern and a challenging task. Conservation of these resources is very important so as to preserve the ecological diversity and life support systems such as air, water and soil. Hence, local communities everywhere have to be involved in some kind of natural resource management for a better future. In this module, you have learned the following. India's treasure of flora and fauna are fast declining and hence urgent measures need to be taken to conserve the biodiversity. Community conservation has been one of the methods adopted to conserve the forest and wildlife in India. In India, the Joint Forest Management Program which started in 1988 provides a good example for community conservation. The Chikko movement in the Himalayas, the Beach Bachao Andolan in Tehri and the Navdanya have been successful in resisting deforestation in several areas. Villages in many areas have on their own started some eco-development programs which will initiate protection of forests and wildlife. Sacred groups are patches of forests that are considered to be sacred and are hence left untouched by the local people. 